So we are in Dune, or I guess outside of Dune. We're out for a walk and we're kind of in the fields and it's a really beautiful day out. And it's nice to have this summer, finally. We had a bit of a relaxing kind of morning and you know, I had a really busy week this week with, uh, I sit on a cherry board and I see job application work, <sighs> vlogging and all of that stuff. So I thought I would do a vlog of this week, starting with our lovely nature walk. on a run. It's like a dress rehearsal of the half marathon, so I'm doing 13.1 kilometers, so it's shorter than I usually do, which is usually between 15 and 17 kilometers. Um, and next week I should be running my half, which I'm a bit anxious about, but you know, I've done it before, I can do it again. Last night I started Kimchi Young, born in 1982, and it is really good. Um, it's very like simplistic in English anyway, but there is so much packed, so I've read like in the first kind of third of the book and yeah there's like, so much packed in very short sentences short chapters and i'm really liking it up to now and i'm sure it'll be really quick to finish it from here because it's quite short <sighs> all right 13.1k done dress rehearsal ah! didn't go that well. <laughs> I think I overheated uh, about halfway through and the second half was really tough. Tougher than any other run that I've done. <sighs> ah, I need to go and drink some water now. After my run and recovering <laughs> from the heat, <laughs> I let it catch some sun it looks like. You know, I, I put some screen on. I did. Um, we had a large brunch. I run about almost two hours every Sunday morning so um, we used, to, we used to call it breakfast of champions and now it's more like lunch of champions for my husband and that's usually kind of my first big meal of the day. So we had that, it's really good and filling. <laughs> and then we watched the England v Croatia game in the Euro and obviously we don't really have a stake, obviously we root for Scotland but obviously there's no way the Scotland's gonna win. <laughs> The Euro, so we don't really have a stake in it, but it's it's really it's fun to kind of be involved <laughs> and and watch the games. We got a TV license just for watching the games. Tomorrow Scotland's game, so we're quite excited for that. Um, and you know, I Skype my parents. Um, I'm kind of trying to relax. I'm really really still tired of the run. I kind of hope we're overheating a little bit. And yeah, it's a nice kind of Sunday. Afternoon, we're gonna go for a wee walk with our friend and their dog. It'll be a nice end of the weekend. Hi everyone, so it's Sunday, 10 p.m. I realized that today is the last day of Thousand Words of Summer. It's kind of like I've been a writing challenge, or more like encouragement, um, hosted by Jenny. Attenberg, she's a writer in the US and I think like people across the world have been participating and I've been writing every day although the last few days haven't been so good uh, so I didn't write on Thursday or Friday at all <laughs> and and then yesterday I did write 1500 words and so today you know I think I can write about a thousand words in about 30 minutes so I'm gonna sit down and do it and finish it. It's been really good to kind of get into a habit as well of just spending some time working on my novel. So there's a couple of days that I didn't write, but I spent like hours editing and, you know, current chapters and stuff like that. So it's been like a really good 
thing to participate in. I'm also taking, um, kind of going to a workshop hosted locally by um, a, a writer and it's been really good to kind of find a bit of a community and get new prompts and new kind of inspiration. So it's been really nice. All right, the thousand words is 10.35. It was a bit of a slow start, but I got into a good scene or two that I was able to write out, which is good. Always happy and feel um, accomplished. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go read a little bit and I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm really tired after a long day in the sun. <laughs> good night. Hello, it's Tuesday morning. It's 8.30 and I'm starting to work. Um, I didn't film yesterday on Monday. I wasn't feeling all that well, and you know, I was working. And we were all decked out for the Scotland Youth Czech Republic game, but um, yeah, I, I was working and then I watched the second half, and it was pretty terrible. So you know, nothing to see there. And in the evening, you know, we watched just a little bit of TV, and I did an application for a writing kind of contest I guess it's to get feedback from an agent on your manuscript. I got rejected in round one a couple months ago but I did get some feedback which was really good and they did invite me to apply again so you know nothing to lose trying and I posted a video on YouTube and um, I just went to bed really early. I didn't read or anything just shattered. <laughs> um, but yeah I feel better today and I'm just signing to work. I have lots of work to do and I will see you later. So I finished work, um, I was really struggling to focus the right pages at the end there, but I did it. On Tuesdays I usually go for a speed run, usually like 25 to 40 minutes, but I'm still feeling a bit down. I don't know if it was my period or I really overheated myself on Sunday. And also because we get our delivery on Tuesday, I feel like I also <laughs> maybe haven't been having the best diet the last few days. So been really high on the carbs and protein so tonight that's why tonight I'm making a big ass salad basically <laughs> but yeah as a, as a kind of compromise I'm gonna do a short speed run so maybe 15 minutes and then I'm well actually I'm gonna start with kind of doing a little bit of a, a booty workout <laughs> with a YouTube video online. That's also part of the fact that I've decided that I'm not going to be running a half marathon next weekend. And that's because my fitness level is just really not. So I ran a half marathon last December and I'm just not at the point where I was at, you know, during the training program at that point. So I'm just not there now. And I just, you know, I'm not engaged to any events or anything. So I thought, you know, I could keep it for later in the year and just do it kind of work on getting back to that level of fitness so maybe kind of go back to doing more like full body workout and focus and not just like run four or five times a week instead so doing a bit of a more balanced training over the summer and then hopefully maybe i can run my second half in the autumn so yeah so that's kind of all part of that as well so i've kind of slowed down a little bit on the training while the running and then ramping up other training like more muscular and toning and becoming stronger basically <laughs> all right 15 minute run done it doesn't feel like that much of a workout after uh my sunday runs but it went well um especially after my first glute workout in like months <laughs> but we'll see how that goes and how that feels tomorrow Morning. It's Wednesday. It's 8:30. I've just signed into work. You know, you can tell the routine here. I'm having a little ready-made oat pot because I'm feeling lazy, but also because I've really been wanting some um, porridge recently. So I'm gonna get some little fresh blueberries. And yeah, just starting to work. Last night was really nice. We watched the Friends the Germany game, which was very exciting. I think it was like one of the highest caliber games we watched during the Euro. I didn't think that this video would turn out to have so much football references, but you know, whatever. 
um, it's an exciting time in Europe, if anything, during the pandemic. And yeah, I'll just work for a while. I'm attending a writing workshop tonight, so that's kind of exciting. And I need to finish editing that piece probably at lunch or after work. So look what just arrived. I got a package, it's a care package for my mom. It's my birthday in two weeks, so I'm kind of excited. I uh, don't know if I should wait to open it. I'll ask her. <laughs> I have made some wee wraps for lunch. This sweet potato falafel with a bit of tzatziki and some veg. All right, while I'm lunching, I thought I would do maybe a wee note on what I'm reading right now. I'm about halfway through the Southern Book Club's Guide to Vampire Slaying, something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it really picked up around like 30-40% and it is weird and it's not exactly what I expected, but I am enjoying it. Last night I was also reading Diving for Pearl, so I read a couple chapters and I'm about 30% of the way through and it is a bit tedious to read I have to say and I had heard things about it that so there's so many characters so I'm 30% in and they're still introducing new characters so it's basically every chapter is like a different character and there's been like at least six or seven obviously they're recurring so they're coming back but now I'm in like a completely new person and I'm like who is this so yeah it's a bit tedious I can't wait for it to just start and stop introducing people so we shall see if it kind of gets going in the next 20% which I hope so gosh this is when you really see the ridiculousness of my hair I'm growing it to give it to Cherish <laughs> later this summer so yeah anyway it's almost there so I talked to my mom and she said that I could open the package so I thought I would do that one myself my mom always says like these are just small gifts and she's always like oh just tiny things you know and it's always the highlight of my day because it's a little you know bit of home i haven't uh the last time i was home was two years ago uh at, like on my birthday it'll be two years so, <laughs> so it's been a while so it's nice to get these little bits of home uh in, like over the last year and a half that's been really really good so i'm expecting some books some candy <laughs> Some Chris, maybe? Um, and we shall see what else she decides to add as little treats. Okay, so the first thing is Les Maisons, it's a, a book. Les Maisons from Fanny Brett. I have never heard of this. Okay. It's a wee card, I will keep it up on my birthday. Another book. Oh, it's gonna be a bit backwards. I'm filming the other way. That's nice. I always love getting French books. As I've said in my book um, shelf tour, with all of my French books, she usually um, sends me French books because I'm afraid she's afraid I'm losing my French, which is sometimes real, but I sometimes feel like I can't speak English either, as you maybe can tell. So, you know, I'm messed up in all languages, really. <laughs> Then we get some candy. Oh my god, a lot of candy. candy. My favorite ones. Oh yeah, some poutine sauce, which is always good. I found a place that does curd cheese in the UK. It's in the south of England though, but you can order. It's a bit pricey, but you know, and when you haven't been home in two years. <laughs> so we'll probably make a couple over the summer. And ah, these are some chocolates from Quebec. So this is from like a, a local chocolatier and these are the ones, my mom sent a massive package a couple months ago when they had loads of different chocolates and these are the ones that we preferred and she was like, oh, it's the cheapest one, <laughs> so it's perfect. <laughs> so, you know, good taste. For some reason, glue. I'm allergic to glue as well, so I'm really confused by this. I will have to ask her. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so my husband doesn't like envelopes and I usually do it for us and she sent that so that I don't have to like envelopes anymore, which is good since I said that I'm allergic to go anyway. And a face mask. Oh, oh, it's nice. She always sends me masks that are too small. So this one is perfect. 
Love it. Maple spread. Mm. Oh, and a little. I actually love these and we don't really have them in the UK. Um, it's like a mix of Cheetos and pretzels and hula hoops. Alright, that was so nice. I'm so happy. I will definitely go and eat some candy now. To for breakfast, I'm making a little smoothie. I've run out of all my favorite ones, but this one's really good. They're from Mindful Shop, which is a British company. So I'm a bit quirky. It's in that early in the morning. Um, yeah, so it's a really good company. It's really easy and it's really all like healthy stuff, as you can tell. So really like them. And I usually have them with uh, some oat milk. Good way to start the day. Hello, good morning. Today um, is a quiet day at work because my, um, well, it's the national day of Iceland today, so most of my colleagues are on holiday. So it's quiet, I'm working on some social media. I did want to add a little wee note on my reading, you know, while we're here. So it's been really all over the place the last few days, but I did finish the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slang Vampires. <laughs> Long title. And it was, I think it's really problematic. It was really kind of engaging and fast paced, but yeah, there was a lot of weird things. There was a lot of weird things about it. So I don't know yet how I feel about it. But anyway, and I did, as I mentioned, I kind of, I've been reading Diving for Pearls, Kim Chi Young, born in 1982. And then last night I was like, oh, I'll just pick up Raven Black from the Shetland series. So yeah, a bit all over the place. I'm about 30% through like five books right now. I think it's because it kind of, that's how much it gets, it takes me to get into a book. So hopefully one of them will catch soon and I can just kind of read it till the end. But I still have, we're only halfway through the month. So um, I'm hoping, I've finished six books already this month. So I'm hoping that I can maybe finish all of the books that I currently have going on right now and that I'm hoping to finish this month. Last night I didn't film but I did the, attend my little writing workshops which was really good and then I did some um, writing and then like you know cleaning and stuff like that while like hours of listening to the to the book because I wanted to finish it <laughs> and then I have two more audiobooks on the go as well. I did want to add that yesterday I was a bad vlogger, bad bad Camilla. I went after work, I did end up working a bit later because I did want to finish this one task I was doing. And then we were kind of looking for something in the house and we went for a walk about 45 minutes like around the neighborhood and I was like, oh, I'll film, show people like the beautiful rhododendrons and flowers and plants and the nature, you know, around where we live. But totally forgot. And then we came back and had a beautiful salad and I was like, oh, I'll take a video of that too, you know, and totally forgot. And then we only had like 15 minutes to eat before I went out to my writing workshop. So it was kind of like this tight pace. I kept being like, go, go, go. So I forgot to vlog about all those things. <laughs> anyway, you know, this is a learning process. You know, I'm getting on the learning curve and I'm getting hopefully better and better at filming different aspects of, you know, daily life and little things that are nice. watched the Belgium v Denmark game which was unfortunate for Denmark <laughs> um, we also ate a massive veggie lasagna which was really nice and I'm about to go running it's almost absurd how motivated I am when I'm on a training schedule and the minute I'm off the schedule I'm just like no more running <laughs> so I've picked a 40 minutes train and run workout so um i'll just be running around the neighborhood a bit and stopping at like intervals to do some leg workout so yeah so that'll be good it's a bit it's 8 p.m but it's still really obviously sunny out there 
So I'm gonna go with my dad. They just did that for Zania. All right, I did my workout. It was really good. It was actually really good. It went well. And it's always again motivating after some kind of bad days and bad runs. So it was really good. Um, I will definitely do it again. I also wanted to say that today I was doing kind of a lot of planning and kind of research more um, on websites. So I kind of could listen to things. So when I'm writing, I can't obviously. But I listened to, is it The Betrayals? By Bridget Collins and it was really good it's getting really interesting because at the beginning I was really confused by the the kind of world and the grandeur and blah 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 and I was like what is this world it's really not explained so it's really weird um, but it's yeah it's getting really good and the relationship and the characters I still don't understand one of the characters or rat I'm really confused but I'm it's developing definitely so I'm liking it. I have been seeing reviews of it that apparently the binding is better. So maybe that'll be what I'm gonna read next or kind of next month to see the other Bridget Collins. <laughs> also, um, this is Scotland. It is uh, almost 9 p.m. <laughs> We're all five days away from the solstice, but yeah, it gets it's bright so long now. <laughs>